All right, hello there, and welcome back to the We Miss the Exit show. We're going to do the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix preview. Our Brazilian Grand Prix review will go up eventually. Uh, what a race it was, and um, just give me one moment, and we'll get to the show. Don't know why it says that. All right. Just give me one moment, and we'll get into the uh, preview. I forgot to update my predictions for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. I just left it the same as I had for um, that I had for the Brazilian Grand Prix. And I'm not even sure if I updated those. So let's see what we got here. All right. All right. Just give me a few minutes or a few moments here and I will uh, update it. I'm pretty sure I know what I want. So it should be pretty quick here. Uh, not a whole lot changing compared to uh, other information that we have about the race. All right. Change that. All right. That's all. Nope. That's all. I said no. Yes, I did. All right. Almost done here. Just updating it real quick, and I will uh go live. All right, so like I said, we're going to be doing our Abu Dhabi Grand Prix preview. We will be doing the um, Brazilian Grand Prix review later on. I uh, wanted to get the preview in before the race starts. Uh, in the race news, there's uh, some stuff here and there. Um, we'll get into some of it for the Brazilian Grand Prix review. But uh, as far as race news goes, Hulkenberg is going to be officially replacing Mick Schumacher at Haas next year. Uh, Haas said that it came down to quite a few factors, including uh, Schumacher costing them money with his crashes last year. He had a couple this year too, but uh, last year is definitely quite worse. Um, personally, I think uh, Haas going with Hockenberg, uh while he knows how to score points and Mick has struggled with that, I don't think that's Mick's fault. I think that's more the car's fault. Um, the more I thought about it, uh, Haas going with a 35-year-old driver um, who hasn't really been in it a whole lot makes more sense that Mick kind of wanted to get out of Haas, which I don't blame him. They, your team has been a disaster for uh, two years. Um, team wasn't great this year. 
definitely didn't see uh, a whole lot of improvement over the year before. Uh, they still struggled to maintain pace for even a mid-pack uh, finish. Uh, Mick beat Magnuson quite a lot uh, in races. Obviously, Magnuson scored more points, but that came down to a lot of positioning. Uh, Mick finished more races. Mick typically beat Magnuson when they both finished the race. So um, I think this was more Mick Schumacher saying, I don't want to be here anymore. Uh, which is good for him. Uh, there's rumors that he's going to end up at Mercedes as a reserve. And there's still a Williams seat sort of, kind of sort of up for grabs. Um, the seat has been taken, but it comes down to Logan Sar uh, Sargent being able to get his super license, which I believe is still up in the air. So we'll see what happens with that. There could be, uh, we could see Mick Schumacher at Williams next year. Um, and you know, they finished last in Constructors' Championships points, but uh, their car definitely got much better at certain places, certain times during the year. So, um, and it may be a better spot for Mick to be in the works, possibly to replace Hamilton in a couple of years. Um, obviously, Michael Schumacher raced for Mercedes for a few years. Um, it'll be interesting to see if Mick ends up there. Uh, Toto did say, kind of allude to, they do want him there. He's a F2 champion. Uh, he's a good driver. Uh, he's, uh, I think, more mature than a lot of racers his age. Um, Lando, not including Lando, I think he's, um, I think he definitely deserves a spot in F1. He's young, so he has some time. He's only 23, 24. Um, so Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The Yas Marina circuit, the race is tomorrow. Qualifying, uh, Q1. Uh, the fastest in Q1 was Max Verstappen. Out in Q1 was Latifi, Albon, Botas, Gasly, and Magnussen. Vettel had a beautiful lap. Um, he kind of, everyone was rooting for him. He looked great today. Uh, so he went on to Q2. Q2 fastest lap was Perez. Out was Alonso, Sonoda, Mick Schumacher, Stroll, and Joe. Another beautiful lap from Vettel. Uh, he moved on to Q3. Uh, Q3, he kind of was quiet. Um, Max Verstappen ends up on pole, and Perez ends up in P2. So we have a Red Bull lockout on the front row. Uh, looked like Max did pull Perez around to help him out with that final lap. Uh, hopefully they are learning to work together. If you want to know more about that, watch our Brazilian Grand Prix review later on. So the grid for tomorrow was not updated. Awesome. Glad I forgot to do that. Let's see here. Everything I did and I forgot to update the grid for tomorrow. Well, obviously, I already told you Max Verstappen is going to be P1 uh, with Perez P2. And it'll just take me a second here to get this all uh, placed in. Uh, I just do a couple of screenshots, so it doesn't take a whole lot of time here. Um, but Max won, um, and we'll get to my predictions a little bit, but um, Max was flying out there today. Uh, he looked like a guy who was still fighting for a championship. Uh, I may have feel like he has something to prove. Uh, a lot of people say his championship was not earned. I am not one of them. Uh, I been consistent uh last year he was the best driver he led the most laps he won the most races uh his it, even being close in championship was not even his fault uh he in my opinion was definitely the best driver uh last year so uh, i think his championship was deserved last year and i think it was deserved this year um like most people i'm not a big fan of what happened last week but again if you want to know more about that check out our uh Brazilian Grand Prix review uh, that'll be coming out in a little bit. So, uh, like I said, Max P1, Perez P2, Leclerc. Uh, we have a Ferrari uh, 3 4, so second row, uh, Ferrari third row. We have uh, Mercedes with Hamilton and Russell, uh, Norris in seventh, Akon eighth, Vettel ninth, and Alonso tenth. We have Sonoda eleventh, Schumacher twelfth. We have Ricardo 13th, Stroll 14th, Joe 15th, Magnussen 16th, Gasly 17th, Botas 18th. Horrible qualifying from him. That was very surprising. Alvin uh, 19th and Latifi 20th. That's not surprising. Uh, hoping for a great race tomorrow um, with 
for uh, Red Bull being one and two and uh, Ferrari being three four. Uh, hopefully that doesn't mean that Mercedes is gonna come up and just crash and everyone. Uh, hoping for the best, but you know, never know what's gonna happen with Mercedes being in the back. There's always a chance of a collision. Uh, so my predictions for tomorrow. Not a whole lot of changing from the grid. Uh, I think Max wins. I think Perez gets two. Uh, I think he does beat uh, Leclerc and ends up in championship. Uh, ends up second in the championship. He's raced great this year and definitely deserves it. Uh, although I think Leclerc does deserve it as well. His faults have not been his. It's been a lot that car and the team. Uh, their strategy has been horrible this year. And uh, Leclerc and Sainz have paid the price for reliability issues and the such. Uh, so I do think Leclerc... Leclerc's up third, Sainz fourth, Russell, uh, sorry, Hamilton fifth, Russell sixth, Norris seventh, Vettel eighth, Alonso ninth, and Ricardo ends up in tenth. And I could be a little biased here uh, with Ricardo. I do have, uh, with everything really, I have Verstappen on my team. I have uh, Perez, I have Sainz, Norris, Magnussen, and uh, I do have McLaren. So I do kind of want Ricardo to get up there. I'm hoping the best for um, for a lot of my drivers here. I got a lot of red arrows going down. That means they did bad last race. Uh, but I'm hoping for a good thing this time. Uh, Magnuson uh, was out last race. No fault of his own. Uh, Norris out last race. Car failure. Hopefully they got that figured out. Perez um, and Max, again, watch our preview to, our review of the Brazilian Grand Prix to find out what happens with them. But, uh, I mean, Max, when you're on top... You can only go down. Same with Perez. He was, I think, third and only place to go down. Uh, McLaren, both their drivers didn't finish last race. Hopefully that changes for this race. Um, and then uh, Magnussen, uh, like I said, he was out. No fault for his own last race. Uh, kind of had to do with this. So um, let's enjoy the race. Hopefully you enjoyed this preview. Uh, let us know what your predictions are in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on your favorite social media networks. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.